also says this ref can munch and crunch a ball. Well, why? I don't understand what the ref did wrong there. What was wrong with the referee there? That bags is no, not just then when it was a penalty try. I believe it was a penalty try. I think it was a penalty try every day of the week. I personally think that was absolutely a penalty try. So no, I don't believe that was the wrong call. I think the right call was made there because no matter what, Mitchell Moses was getting there first. Yes, obviously you can't guarantee that he puts the ball over the line, but he, he's going to put the ball over the line there. Like it's common sense. It's a penalty try. It's, it realistically is common sense. You know, this is what I say to you guys every week. We can't complain about the referees when they're not doing anything wrong. When they're getting the right calls made, you cannot complain about them because then when they don't get the right calls, which is a lot of the time, then, you know, our complaints aren't going to be taken notice of. No one's going to give a shit about our complaints because we always complain regardless. And this is what the NRL always says. You're going to complain, win or lose, it'll draw. It doesn't matter. So we're just going to do the, the decisions that we want to do. I'm sorry. This is why you can't complain about referees when they're not doing anything wrong. That's set reason over the Eels. The Eels, what I said, once they complete their, get their completed sets going, once the Eels started completing their sets and started getting rolled through their sets, because um, they had a 66% 66 completion rate in the first half, compared to the 96% for the Dogs, the Dogs were still only up by four points with a 30 plus percentage bonus on what the Eels were doing. Um, advantage is probably the right word to use there. Uh, the Eels would win. And I said they'd probably win by 13 plus if they did get that completion rate going. So they have got the completion rate going and their third tackle 20 meters out up by eight points already. Now they're probably probably sitting around maybe 75%, 80%. I don't think they've knocked the ball on the second half. So I think their completion rate is pretty much 100% in the second half, I'd say. <laughs>